Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to look at Apple and go over this because it has earnings that are coming out tonight. So I don't think this is going to do anything that's insane. My call is that it gaps up. I would be shocked if it doesn't if it doesn't gap up. So I do believe it gaps up, but I don't believe it gaps up anything insane. Let's just look here. I mean, this is due out in half an hour. So <clears throat> I think it has a nice gap up. I think it has a nice gap up, like around this area here. I don't think it goes something crazy. This this stock can move. It could have a large gap up. I don't think it does that. I think it gaps up. And, and, and possibly runs and, and runs in the day tomorrow morning into the FOMC minutes announcement, which is tomorrow too, which the market should rally on. So I think this is going to gap up tonight in the earnings. We'll see. I mean, I'm not in this trade at all. I'm not long the stock. I'm not in an option. I'm not doing anything with it, but I'm going to watch it because this will have an effect on things in the market tomorrow morning and tonight and the market itself because it's Apple. But I think this gaps up. I think it's a solid gap up and I think it's going to run in the gap up tomorrow. But I don't think it gaps something crazy. I'm not looking for a nutty, crazy call in here, which sometimes I see things in charts, but this is not this is not it today. I think it, I think it, uh, 103, 103, 103 in here. This is what a 103, 102 to 103. So I think this gaps up, but not something nutty. Okay, so we'll see what happens. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swoosh. I'll do a recap on the Apple after the earnings announcement comes out in about an hour. I'll look at it and we'll see what it does. It 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 should hold the gap tomorrow though. I don't think this gaps up anything crazy, and and if it does, fine. I mean, Apple's still in the uptrend. It's 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 coming with the market like everything else on the planet. Never retested the anomaly day in here though, so this is good. I mean, this is still strong, and it's holding the value and should run up and continue and make an all-time high this year with the, which with the market because the market's going to do that too. So this this looks very good. So look for Apple to gap up tonight in the earnings. I'll take a look at it to see, but I don't see anything here that's like something you'd play into the earnings at all to do anything with at all just let it play out and maybe tomorrow in the day could be a bullish gap depends where it gaps tonight and opens tomorrow if you have any questions and want to learn my gap trading method email me at melissa at the stockswish.com i'm doing the bullish gap class in february if you want information about that and the bearish gap class is this weekend january 30th and 31st have a good day